What's up, dude? In this video, we are going to be talking about outer joints. So in the last video, we talked about inner joints. In the video before that, we talked about inner joints. And two videos before that, we talked about inner joints. So I'm basically sick and tired of inner joints. So now we're just going to be doing the same exact thing, except with outer joints. So what's the difference between an inner joint and an outer joint? That's what we will be discussing in this entire video. It's going to be about 20 videos, so hold, oh no, I'm just kidding, it won't take too long. Once you understand what an inner joint is, picking up outer joints and the other junk is like super easy, okay? Kind of how like once you learn a one programming language, the second one is only somewhat less hard, right? You can see I have some junk written behind me, let's look at it, alright. So we have what's known as a join condition. That is at the end of the join statement. Do you remember doing this? I can't hear you. I'm just kidding. Okay, so we got the customer dot customer ID and card dot customer ID. That means there's two tables: the customer table and the card table. And then both of these have a column customer ID. It's a basically just simple dot syntax: the table dot column. And this is making an association. So this is saying that we want to join two tables and the rows that need to be connected are connected by the column of uh, I lost it, customer ID and customer ID. So the two columns here, this is going to make a connection and our join is going to build is going to be built upon that so we know where to connect things. So the way this would work with an inner join, let me just show ya. We got, let me just redraw those two tables real quick. We have the, the customer and then we have the card. So this is like a bank and people can get credit cards and a person doesn't necessarily have to have a credit card because they can go to that bank without having a credit card. And also, a card doesn't necessarily have to have a current owner because it could be a disabled card, or it could be a um, a card that hasn't yet been activated, or something else could happen to where a person doesn't own that card. So there's no required columns for this. Now, when we join these, the join table is going to only include customers who own a card. That's going to be the end result. That is with a inner join. So we have the uh, customer, card, join table of card and the customer that is exclusive pushing away all of the customers with no cards and all of the cards without an associated customer who owns that card. The outer join works a little differently in that it's still going to return all of the rows of from one of these tables. You can decide which one. Whether or not they have an associated entity on the other side. So that join statement comes in here. It's important. So we had it to where it was um, the customer ID I'm just going to put C for short. If we have it where we have it, what's known as a left join, I'm just going to write it uh, over here. It's going to basically ignore that statement and it's going to return all of the rows from the left table. The right one, though, is still going to be obeying that join statement. So the join statement, let me write it out, was a uh, um, customer. So with this left join, all of the rows are going to ignore this on the left side. So it's going to return back every single row. On the right side though, it's going to only return the ones that have a customer ID that has a customer ID of the same value within the customer table. So for example, we could have a card with the ID, the uh, customer ID of 7. So that's customer ID, not card ID. 
So that's referring to the person who actually owns the car. All right. We can have that person over here. And since if you basically insert this into the join condition, we have 7 equals 7. Because this card customer ID has an equal value in this table, which means this card is owned by that person. It's kind of how it works. But with an outer join, we are going to ignore that and basically say, we're going to return all of the rows for either the left or right side. So there are, main, there are, th <laughs> there are three main classifications of joins, outer joins that are. I'm going to write them all, and then in the next videos we are going to discuss them. There's a left outer join, right outer join, and an... Uh, th did I seriously write outer outer join? Ugh, I am so dumb. I meant to write... <laughs> Full outer join, excuse me. <laughs> oh man. But basically, we're going to be discussing these two right offhand, and full, that can be a little more complicated for some database management systems. So we're going to probably discuss that a little farther down the road, hopefully. So let's dive right in with left outer joins. I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I already said that.